hello, hello. I have arrived. All right. So, today, Tales of Arrives. It's the end of the week already. It feels like the, the week has just started. And indeed it has, because this is the first stream of the week. Yeah, the, uh, you know, what with the holiday yesterday, Sheps was not available to, not available for the usual collab. And so we, we did not. We did not, in short. So, uh, yeah, we should be resuming that next week, though. I don't see any reason why we wouldn't be. Let's see. As for today, it's Friday. <laughs> uh, it is Friday. Tales of Arise, as usual. Let's see. Anything else to go over? Well, there's quite a few things to go over, actually, but nothing, nothing immediately pertinent to the schedule, I don't think. Uh, other than actually, now that I think about it, there is the possibility that I might do a stream tomorrow to make up for the general lack of them this week. We'll see about that. I'm not super, I don't know, I'm expecting, I'm expecting some, some business tomorrow. Business, I say. <laughs> I'm expecting to be busy, I suppose. Business sounds a little bit more sounds like it's something that I'm going to get paid for. And I do work tomorrow, but that wouldn't interfere with the stream schedule. But yes, anyway. So, it's a, it's a maybe. It's a, it's a maybe. Yeah. It has been a surprisingly tiring week, to be honest. So, I might just, uh, might call it, call it after tonight. Or this week, of course. But yes. So let me, I should have, I should have done this beforehand, but let me double check. Let's see. I don't think that there's anything coming up next week that should interfere with the streaming schedule in any way. Yeah. Yeah. So in that case, assuming nothing goes wrong, assuming, yeah, assuming nothing goes wrong, we should have some more of the usual on, uh, yeah, some more of the usual Tuesday through Friday streaming. But yes, Wednesday and Friday, Tales of Arise. Tuesday, Getting Over It with Bennett Body. Thursday, at VA11 Hall A, Cyberpunk Bartending Action with our good friend Sheppy Sheps. And yes, so all the streams except for the except for the Thursday stream are typically at 7.30 p.m. Central Time, with the Thursday stream starting at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. And so that should be, that should be all of the, the necessary schedule business. Like I said, I do have some other business that I would like to share, but I think I'm going to save that until we are in the game, because today I don't expect to be doing a whole lot of story progress immediately. It, if it happens, it happens, but currently I'm not planning on, like I said, doing too much story progress immediately. First of all, well, you know what, honestly, We'll just get into it when we get into it. Video game. But yes, it's nice to be back. But yeah, nice playing this game. Nice hanging out here. All that. You miss it once you've not done it for a little while. Well, I sure hope that it's safe here in <laughs> that it's safe here in Vicent, given all the work that we went into making it safe. All the work that we put into making it safe, I should say. But yes, so I guess just as a as a quick recap, so last time around, we helped out the people of Vicent. We overthrew, we overthrew their own uh, the anti, yeah, the anti uh, Danon rebel group that sprung up. But yes, and now we have the former lord of Elda Menencia, Dohalim here. We have befriended him, and he is now part of our party. But yes, with that, we now have two characters, two characters whom we have yet to send to the training grounds. Let's go, let's go fast. Ooh, hold on. New art. Nice. Anyway. <laughs> let's go fast travel to the training grounds so we can do some, some fighting. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll look around for quests and all that. I don't know if we need to revisit the quarry. I think that it's pretty... It looks like it's pretty well settled, I think. 
I don't believe there should be anything. There wasn't anything that we. I was going to say I don't think I missed anything, but if I did, if I missed it, then I wouldn't know it was there. So. Yes, we can fast travel to the training grounds. Nice. But yes. So. We might also. Now that I think about it, we do also have that forest area that I sort of glossed over a little bit. Where? Ah, oh yes. Gillan Woodland. Mushroom. Yeah, there was a whole area that we didn't go to in there. So we'll definitely need to check that out before we wrap up here. Oh. Hold on a second. Do we not have game audio? If we do, it's very quiet. It's not showing up. We don't have game audio. What's, what's up with that? I double checked it. Hmm. Troubling. Uh. Come again. There we are. Yeah, we got no game audio. That's very odd. Yeah, it's not even. Not even showing up on my voice meter which is odd because I can hear it um hold on oh are we good yes we're good okay okay that was bizarre but anyway <laughs> a little bit of a little bit of post holiday jank I suppose scuff as some call it yeah so this area this area we never went to i don't think there may have been other branching paths mm, maybe not seems like that was the only branch that we didn't explore finally made it we did make it did you used to come here when you were younger kisara you bet <laughs> see the dent in that column Ooh, that's there an when actual... my mace slipped oh, out of my hand has a dent one time just after i joined the guard and that crack over there? That happened while I was practicing an art. Ooh. This is new information to me. I gotta say, it's gonna be very interesting to see how Dohalim sort of interacts with the party. I think probably, well Yeah, every every character, every character except Dohalim so far, I'm pretty sure sort of went around with us for a little while before 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 joining us. And to be fair, Dohalim did do that for a brief time when we were exploring uh, exploring the quarry. And also, you know, the time before that. It wasn't, you know, with us, but we did interact with him quite a bit. But it'll be... I suppose the big difference is now that he is, he is not in sort of a formal... speaking to us in a formal capacity as the Lord of Eldamanensia. He is now just another member of our party, essentially. Welcome to the training grounds, the pride of Vicent. Now step on through. Our doors are always open to anyone looking to better themselves. All right. You know, I, it occurs to me that I completely forgot about the fact that there's a novice, or there's a novice? Root battle. Root battle option. Hmm. Anyway, I think we'll start with Kisara. Let's see. I think probably... Yeah, training and novice, I think, are the only the only levels that we cleared on anybody. Which is makes sense. They're about our level. All training begins at step one. Those who are brave enough to take it will find greater heights awaiting them. Alright. So I guess. Seriously? Is this a joke? It's no joke. No chance! Okay, nice. Yeah, so. Like I was saying, there is some some non non schedule related business that I wanted to get into. So it's time to get into that. Is this? Oh, all right. Well, that didn't go quite as well as I was hoping for. But yes. So, among other things, currently I am now using my phone as a camera. Yeah, preferentially, or well, intentionally. Maybe not preferentially. I haven't seen. It does seem to be better, better than the webcam that I was using. It wasn't a very, it wasn't a very good webcam, to be totally honest with you. It was a pretty cheap one. 
I suppose this is meaningless, considering that we can't do damage to the enemy at this point, but it's always cool to see a, a cool move animation. But yes. Yeah. I, always, I also forgot that I have a, an air combo starter. There we are. Yeah, I sort of wonder if I need to hit the enemy with that, with that sort of start of the start of the move, or if I just need to hit them full stop to bring them to a full stop. Not bad, not bad. But yeah, if we had any sort of combo extender, aerial combo extender, that'd be pretty nice. Or even just a an aerial combo ender, really. Alright. Now let's hope these two charge us at the same time. Okay, so yeah, it doesn't need to be specifically the moment of impact with the shield that stops them in order to stop them. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, there is a certain... There is a certain topic that I needed to go over. I was about to start commenting on Kisara's fighting style, but there's no time for that. Well, there's time for that, but... There's also time for I want to talk that other thing, so I'm going to do that. So, webcam, like I said, using my using my phone as a webcam right now, which is an option that I used initially when streaming with my older phone. Uh, this new phone has a much nicer camera, though. And, like I said, I'm pretty sure... The image quality is a is significantly better on this new phone that I have. Not all that. I've had it for a few months at this point. But on this new phone that I have, than it was on the webcam, and certainly uh, a sight a sight to see compared to the the old uh, the old cameras camera, the old phone's camera. There we go. Sit. But yes, much better, much better. That was a pretty good, uh, pretty good uh, win there. Pretty clean. I did mess up the, I did mess up the boost attack, but that's pretty common to be honest. Okay, so we want to, we want to go a little bit faster if we want the pineapple gel. I'm certainly, certainly always in favor of acquiring more pineapple gel. Do my best. One more. But yes, let's see. Where was I? So yeah, new camera, new this, as they say. Yes, you know, I shouldn't be stunning this guy because we need him to use his move. There we are. Yeah, it is. Yeah, the timing is not... It's pretty generous. Pretty generous. Don't need to worry about it too much. I just need to, you know, make sure that I'm reading the room correctly. That I can know when an enemy is about to use an ability that I can counter with that. Yeah, it might be if I've only got one. Yeah, if I've only got one <coughs> arts gauge. It might be best to use Hurricane Strike preferentially over Flaming Meteor. Of course, I do want to. I do want to level up Flaming Meteor for other reasons currently. But yeah, if I if I only have the one, then probably I want to do Hurricane Hurricane Strike instead of Flaming Meteor, so I can get the air combo going. A little bit too slow, right? So yes. So yeah, so while I was setting up my... Yeah, while I was setting up the camera, I also decided to go ahead and tweak my my VTube Studio settings a little bit. So hopefully the model should be a little bit a little bit better responsive. No. Hmm. Alright, that works, I guess. Yeah, it should be a little bit more responsive, a little bit more... It should be better. Basically, just in general. Alright, I mean... Maybe I don't need to be, but I'm a little bit concerned, so I'll do a little bit of healing. It may have been a little bit of a waste of time. But, we'll see. What are we doing for time, I wonder? It's a shame that the... Yeah, it's a shame that the, the game doesn't, like, actually tell us... Nice. Yeah, it doesn't actually tell us. Is this? Hmm. 
No. Alright. Unfortunately, did not. Ooh! If I, if I read that correctly, I don't need to use the base cannon. I'll just use the. to get the boost break out of that. That's nice. Nice. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway. Should be better. Bottle should be behaving better just in general. Ooh. Alright, not quite what I wanted. Not and not a huge improvement either. I don't well yeah, if I had landed the if I had comboed out of the awakening better, I think I could probably could have cleared that in the allotted time. But we'll give it one more go. And if not, we'll we'll simply move on. Seriously? Is this there's, a like I said, other stuff I won't be doing today. This one is mine. So yes. So Point webcam should be different and the model experience should this be better, broadly speaking. Look sharp. That's it. Let's see, yeah. So once I gotta remember, Look once sharp. I have the, the boost break up, stop hitting it so that I can, you know, use it. This one is mine. Ready to go. Alright, so. Use your charge move. Too early. That's well. That's going to be a, a big time loss. Can I leave? Can I leave this battle. It seems like probably. I guess yeah. We didn't. I won't fight just for the sake of it. Yeah. We didn't wager anything. We don't wager anything on these entries. I don't think. Your opponent is never your greatest threat. It's pride and complacency. Looks like you still have some training to do. No need to get down about it. Learning these things is exactly what the training grounds are here for. Very true. Very true. But yes. But yeah, I suppose I've made my point about the... I suppose I've made my point about the webcam. Really. Nothing else to be, to be said here too much about it. But yes. Other than that, I guess... I guess that's more or less the only thing that uh, directly pertains to the stream that has been going on recently. But yeah, you know, I was out of town. I was out of town recently, so everything, you know, everything had to be reset up. So I don't think anything should be any different. I double checked the microphone, and all of the plugins are running properly. So I checked the microphone, and it's running properly. I thought I had checked the. Well, no. There's no. There's no. I thought. I did definitely, I did definitely mess that up, unfortunately, again. So yes, anyway, I did definitely, I did definitely double check the audio. I just, yeah, I don't, I don't know why that happened. All right, this is our real last try. And if I, if I mess up the, if I mess up the move, then we're just gonna live with that. Yes. Greatest this. enemy is pride and complacency and all that. Going in. Take this. Flaming so yes. I guess, yeah, that, with that said, then I guess we can move on to what I was going to say earlier about the Kisara's fighting style. It definitely feels, and I don't know how much it is, but it feels a little bit more deliberate than other characters. It feels like you have to be a little bit more, you have to be a bit more intentional. It might just be it might just be that I'm I'm not used to the timing on her abilities, basically. Because, you know. Yeah, the the timing on using, you know, guards, the timing on using trying to yeah, trying to intercept moves that cause the enemy to move is is very different from just, you know, moves that just work, basically. Because you know. The uh, blazing sword I don't remember what the Blazing Sword boost attack is called, but, but yes, just the Blazing Sword attacks. Hmm. How do I... There we go. I wonder... Hmm. I always seem to... Ooh. Yeah, I always seem to use a different move, basically. I always seem to use a different move when I try to, try to comp combo out of Awakening. I guess there's no comboing going on, but... Alright, these guys are a bit out of sync now, so let's hope this isn't going to be... Mm, this was an issue. 
Alright, I'm pretty sure we've lost, but we'll, we'll see. I mean, we can still survive. We can still win this fight, but I've definitely, I've definitely lost the time bonus, I think. Which is, of course, very unfortunate. Yes. This one's mine. So anyway, I feel like I'm still not 100% sure that Kisara's movement is actually any slower than Good anyone shot. else's. That's, it. That's sort of what I had assumed, I'm but I'm gone. pretty sure that I... I guess I haven't tested this theory, but I'm assuming, currently working under the assumption that the reason that I felt that way Blaming is just because you. immediately before starting to play as Kisara, I was playing as Law, and on Law I had put on a, an accessory that causes it to move faster. You made me angry. That and of course, a you know, idea. a character who moves faster versus a character who doesn't move faster. Yeah, the, the character who doesn't have an ability that makes them move faster is going to feel slower, even if they normally move at the same speed. Yeah, I definitely saw two sets of damage numbers there. One for the, the enemy that's still invincible because we did uh, we haven't broken their defense properly and one for the the other enemy so that does that ability does target multiple enemies in the battle it's not just the one that it hits or the one that you have targeted when you use it which is pretty nice all right and if you be so kind nice nice but yeah, it feels, it feels, it definitely feels like Isara has a little bit more, maybe a little bit more lined up, maybe a little bit more follow through than most other characters. I feel like that, if, if movement speed doesn't vary, and I'm not sure it does, but if movement speed doesn't vary, then definitely attack animation speed vary, uh, very considerably. Yes. Okay, combo. I wonder if I get uh, if I get extra flaming meteor credits for doing this, or just the regular amount of flaming meteor credits. Yeah, that wasn't any better. That was in fact worse. Yeah, I guess I probably should have saved. Well, I guess I can't because you know, awakening runs out eventually. Awakening runs out eventually, so I couldn't have just waited to try and use my cool awakening move until I had gotten gotten my boost attack back like I had hoped for. Because, you know, that simply would not have worked. I should stay away a little bit, probably. Oh, you are so kind as to me. Thank you very much. Oh dear. Alright, so that uh, wasn't a great wasn't a great showing of me staying away a little bit, unfortunately. But it is what it is, I suppose. This one's mine! Right. I think I cancelled out of flame meteor there. But yeah, it definitely didn't feel like it uh didn't definitely didn't feel like it followed through all the way. Yeah, I guess with the with the incredible rate at which Kisara breaks enemies, I feel like she probably does have a or yeah, like it's only natural that she would have a slower attack speed. And, you know, That's vice versa. It. If she has a slower attack speed, she'd, in she'd inflict more, as they would say in the Souls community, more uh, poise damage, basically. Breaking enemy guards quicker and all that. Alright. Okay. Oh dear, I'm stunned. That's not good. I gotta say, I do not, do not like one bit this, uh... Do not like one bit this... I don't like that either, but uh, this paralysis status. I don't know what it's called necessarily, but paralysis is what it seems like to me. But yeah, so as for other ancillary business, I suppose, on the topic of paralysis, I've been playing some, some Pokemon. I haven't been playing a whole lot of it, because I've been focusing on... I'm very close to getting the... Yeah, very close to finishing up the, the catalog getting up to level 100 on that in Splatoon 3. So that's been sort of my main priority vis-a-vis -vis video games recently. Huh, I wonder... I mean, this does damage. I don't know if it does weak damage. That's sort of what I was... what I was trying to say there. 
Maybe I shouldn't cut myself off so much. Maybe I should let myself save things. I wonder how long you have to... How long you have to hold down the button in order for the special awakening move to come out. Fortunately, yeah, there's no way for me to really test that. There's no, or there's no uh, convenient way for me to test it anyway. No chance. Got you. Not fair enough, Yeah, I guess you know, it'll happen when it happens. All right, this is gonna hurt. Ah, okay, we're not done yet. And oh, nope. Not quite as cautious as I could have been. Oh well. Mm, Guardian Field. I don't feel like... Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't feel like I used that in quite the, the situation or the position where I should have, but at least the enemies have collision with each other. Okay, so this is another another opportunity. Okay, you can do it in the air. I thought that you couldn't because I didn't do so successfully earlier. But yes, you can definitely use your special awakening attack in the air still. Yeah, that. Oh, I was. I thought the had destroyed the uh, the boards. This is bad. All right, let's back up a little bit. Yeah, I thought that it had uh, simply destroyed the boards because I didn't see them anymore. But it seems that that is not the case. Yeah. Anyway, it's nice that enemies can body block each other. That's pretty nice. Light up the dark. I'm ready to go. I don't like this. There we go. You can feel the <laughs> you can feel the fear in my button press there. I'm gone. That's it. My very audible button uh. press. Oh dear. All right. I guess no I don't necessarily need to Look bait shot. this attack out. I can just like attack. Look shot. Yeah, there's a part of me that likes to, you know. Okay, that was pretty fast. I didn't, I didn't hold it down for very long at all. So I guess maybe I've just not been, maybe I've just not been pressing the button properly or something. All right, are there boards around here? I don't think so. All right, boost break. Play meters to get around, and nice. That definitely, I guess I don't know. Flatten my chair. I think that's a new one. Yes. Not every day you see such immense, refined talent on display. Trust me. Yes. First victory. Very good. Very good. Celestial Whale. That sounds good. Unblemished fighter. I wouldn't go so far as to call that fight as being without blemished, but I'll take what I what I can get, I suppose. Increased counter attack. That's pretty nice. Especially considering that's the whole point of uh, the whole point of the special mechanic of her boost attack. So yes, yeah, that. Yeah, I was gonna say that definitely didn't feel like that definitely didn't feel like it made the time the time estimate or the the target time, and indeed it did not. Indeed it did not. No healing training. All right. Tip once again. But yeah, I've definitely been enjoying the. I've been enjoying my new water bottle quite a bit. One of the main the main draws of it. To me, you know what's good for you. It occurs to me that I don't remember. I don't remember how to trigger Ohlim's so uh, boost break. It also occurs to me that I don't know. I don't know what any of Ohlim's abilities do. So. This, I guess, yeah, this is our first time seeing Dohalim in, in action under our control. We've definitely, we've seen him in action before. We've seen him in action, but we have not seen him in action in a way that benefits us. Well, I don't know. In a battle. We've seen him in cutscenes do things that are, that benefit us, but... Yeah, I gotta say, I do, I do like that. I do like how that, uh... You know, after his sort of moment there, 
back in the yeah, back at the end of the quarry. Okay. Um, can I? No, it doesn't seem like I can. Um, yeah, it wouldn't be competition. No, that's the demon strike. But yeah, that is the. That's not it. In short. Hmm. So I need to. Yeah, how do I do this? What is this? Is it. Hmm. Clearly, I just wasn't close enough there. Do I need to. Do I need to do it when I'm attacking an enemy that's. Like. I keep forgetting that I. That Hill Hill and cast spells. But yeah, anyway. Yeah, is that a thing where I need to hit the enemy when they're in some specific state, or can I just... does it just work, basically? Okay. Yeah, I guess we're, we're just kind of here with the wolf now. I guess we're, we're almost certainly not going to make the time at this point, so we might as well retry. No point in sticking around. This way, I can quick, more quickly get to learn to to chase what the endeavors. yeah fruitless endeavor to be sure. Figure out what what the move does and how it works. <laughs> because I if I don't if I can't use it properly, then I cannot under any circumstance clear this mission. So I seem to remember it wouldn't be yeah it wouldn't be under activity records. Oh, I guess yeah. Sara, training grounds. We do need to go back to the owl, the owl realm here soon. Dohalim, Perk, Dohalim's Perk. Yeah, that's not it. Boost attack. Where is, where does it say what Dohalim's boost attack does? Charging aerial armor. Elfin's fighting style, Dohalim. Would it be under Dohalim's fighting style? Hmm. Primarily target enemies that are attacking party members. Primarily target enemies with lower HP. Interesting. I didn't realize that they had different uh, AI in that way. And it does. Hold on. I was gonna say it looks like everyone everyone has a something that says that they target enemies with low HP, but they don't. In fact, Dohalim does not. Uh, and Dohalim doesn't. Well, it's not it's not important. <laughs> anyway, so. Hmm. I don't think we have any information on Dohalim's boost attack. So <laughs> I guess we're just gonna have to we're going to have to, as they say, wing it. So Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I think if I remember correctly. This courteous. That's a that's a fun way to describe the wolf. Alright. So I need to be pretty close. Okay, that works. Okay, okay. So yes, I don't need to do anything in particular, it seems like. Can you take it? Yeah, we're Dohalim is an agile agile fellow, isn't it? Resonate with the earth! Mm. Good damage on that. Not so good. Not so good evasion on that. But, oh well. Yeah. He has sort of an interesting mix of melee and ranged. In that he throws his melee weapon. <laughs> yeah. This definitely, definitely feels kind of weird. <laughs> if I'm, if I'm totally honest, it feels weird. Uh, so yeah, so Elusive Deity doesn't... It's not a launcher. Ooh, nice. That's not a good art to... Hmm. Okay. This is what it is, I suppose. Very cool. Ah, the wolf still, still remains. Resonate with the earth. 
Stalagmite! Resonate with the earth! Stalagmite! I guess I guess that worked. Yeah, it didn't work because it targeted the, the same location twice, but. Stalagmite! Yeah, this... yeah, it seems to be when the when the move goes off is where it targets, which makes sense. <laughs> I thought at first that it was where it uh, where the enemy was when the, when you first started charging up, but I realized that that wouldn't probably be how it would work. Yeah, so maybe I don't know. Maybe I haven't been using it properly, but it definitely seems interesting that elusive deity is not a move that uh, it's not a move that launches, but it is a move that puts you in an aerial state. Can you take it? Tornado drive. Begin. And so it seems like I might just need to. I might need to, if you can believe it, aim my tornado drives here. Hmm, okay. So I'm looking at it a little bit closer. I'm noticing that this enemy and the previous enemy that we fought both have green legs, basically. Yeah, they both have green areas on their legs. So I wonder if that's the... If that is the, the shorthand, the visual shorthand this game is using for indicating enemies that Dohalim's Dohalim's boost attack is particularly effective on. Not bad. Not a tremendous amount of damage. Oh no! Okay, yeah, Elusive Deity did launch. Okay, that's cool. I'll face you. Yes, I always like it when characters in uh Characters in RPGs have lots of puns that they can use to uh, describe their abilities. That's fun. This is probably not a great place to heal, but you know. Another incantation ruin. What do you mean? Well, perfectly fine. Yeah, it is. It's. I guess it makes sense for the staff wielder to have a. An unusually long range for melee fighters, but I definitely wasn't expecting this much range. Yeah. So it, does, it does seem like Elusive Deity is a is a launcher. I'm just not using it properly. That time they were. Good job, Ketchup. Alright. I was gonna say, is there anything I can do to keep this guy from going at me? But it doesn't seem like he's in too much of a hurry here, to be honest. Alright, so Elusive Deity. Hmm. Okay, it didn't launch that time, but it might have just been because the enemy was like in a in a get up animation. Because yeah, that time it did launch. Yeah, the enemy also wasn't broken when I used the elusive deity, but it did it did break immediately upon using it. So I wonder if that wouldn't have anything to do with it at all. Hmm, okay. So this yeah. Yeah. Tornado Drive. It's interesting that we have a move called Tornado Drive on a character who is Earth team. But uh yeah. Are you angry? Yes, you're angry. But yeah, anyway. <laughs> But yes, Elusive Deity, or no, Tornado Drive. Tornado Drive does not, it's not a guided attack, like uh, Eagle, Eagle Kick, whatever it's called, that uh, that Law has that we've been using, that I'm so fond of. That's it. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't track enemies like that, and it doesn't, it doesn't uh, follow your... You can't influence its direction like that move once it's once it's going. So I guess I've got to be careful with Tornado Drop if I'm going to be using it. Yes, our first victory. And was it a particularly good victory? No. <laughs> no, it was pretty bad, actually. <laughs> but, you know what? A victory is a victory, to be honest. I will... I will accept. I will accept whatever... Whatever happens. Let's take out the Earth Mass first. Let's not get destroyed by an ape first, I guess. Not too fond of apes, our friend here is, it seems like. Uh, 
to me. Oh, wait, hold on. Huh. So it seems I can just hold on to this. There doesn't seem to be any benefit to doing that. Oh, yeah, I should stop doing that. <laughs> but yeah, so I can just sort of hold on to art. I don't need to finish that, or at least I don't need to finish that specific art, I guess. Yes, again, I don't know if that benefits me in any way, but it's certainly something that I can do. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Oh, that's... okay. So I guess... well, it might have just been that the boost attack was stronger because I was using the... Uh, or because I was in my empowered state there. But, yeah, that was definitely... It, I don't know that it was actually any more powerful than the standard... the standard boost attack, but it looked cooler. And if it looks cool, then that's clearly what we, what we ought to be doing. I like, the, I like the uppercut these days have. I also like their incredibly large hands. Their hands are approximately the size of their torsos. It's very funny. Alright, if I'm going to be playing Dovaline properly, I really do... I really probably ought to learn how to dodge. Considering that that is sort of the... Yeah, I... It's interesting that we get the, the character that's focused on, you know, that has a mechanic specifically about walking, and then the character who has a mechanic specifically about dodging. Two characters who have a who have a mechanic that is specifically specifically gives them a buff when they defend attack properly. I almost wonder if that's sort of a uh, or yeah, in some way, a, like, reflection of sort of the, the culture. Oh, dear. Oops, don't do that. Well, it's not the worst thing in the world, but oh well. That's nice. Yeah, the arts definitely take a long time to execute on. And, yeah, Tornado Drive requires a lot, a very considerable amount of, uh, to be paid to spacing if I'm going to get literally any use out of it. It might be... it might work a little bit better if the enemy is... Well, I was gonna say, it might be... it, it might work a little bit better if we... if we launch the enemy with a Lucid Deity, but that didn't really... that time Lucid Deity didn't even launch. Hmm. So it... you know... it is... it's something. It's something. It's not nothing. But it's not everything, I think. Alright. There we go. Very good. Alright. Still quite a bit, uh, quite a bit of health on these fellows. I assumed that it would destroy them, to be honest. I suppose it can't just be that easy, necessarily. So, they're not too close to each other, unfortunately. But, they're pretty close now. There we go. It does, it does seem almost like the uh, the boost attack is trying to prioritize hitting groups of enemies. Because it's definitely hit groups of enemies when there were groups of enemies to hit more often than not, I think. Let's take you down just for a minute. I wonder if I could be using the lag mic more. The enemies feel like they're probably not the not the type to sit still for too long. But I could probably get some get some lag mic off. I don't know if it's really worth that much to be honest, though. We don't have anyone else doing it. This is maybe a bad opportunity to heal. But at least the, the incantation wasn't as rude as it could have been. As ruined as though the perhaps thought. Hmm. Yeah, again, it does seem to be... does seem to be... I don't know if it's just a coincidence. But it does definitely seem to be hitting groups of enemies, or at least multiple enemies, more often than not. But it might just be that I'm accidentally positioning myself in a very good position for the to use the ability. So you clamor for my true power? Alright. Eel. 
Heal. Benediction light. Hmm. Heal. Elusive deity. All right. So that was another another not so good uh, not so good awakening there. So I need to I need to review how to use the cool awakening because I keep not doing it. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, it keeps not happening. In short. Okay, so that oh no, I was gonna say that that seems to have ended uh, ended my oh no well getting hit definitely ended. Or maybe it was just a convenient time as well. Alright, so, back up, heal. We're not going to get the good time on this one, I don't think, but... I've been wrong before. So yes. Um, what was I saying? Oh yes. So, like, the, the awakening attacks. Like, I don't seem to... It doesn't seem to be working as frequently on Dohalim as it does on others. But maybe that's just because Dohalim has more moves that require... Who knows? Yeah, moves that require charging. Because yeah, there I didn't use a charge move. And it went off pretty quickly. Because yeah, I thought that it was just if you hold down two art buttons... If you hold down two art buttons while you're in the awakening state, the awakening move will happen. But it doesn't seem like that's the case, I don't think. I, th I don't... If it works, if it has worked, then I haven't witnessed it working. Oh, mid-air evasion, definitely, definitely. Gohalim is all about the evasion. I should probably start spending some of our skill points, but we'll get to that in a second here. I'm absolutely... Yeah, double, over double, over double the time. So yeah, we... <laughs> it'll be a little while before we're able to get the, the target clear time, I think. I don't... I don't think we've done... Hmm. Hmm. Le recommended level 30. We're just... Just barely... <laughs> just barely clearing the recommended level three levels below our average party level so mm, maybe not oh that's interesting this this one this one is just for money apparently that's yeah no rematches for 60 minutes well, i guess it's uh you know grinding grinding for money which could be nice nice is maybe a strong word <laughs> strong word to describe it but yeah, it could be it could be useful, perhaps. Oops, not play records. Um, no battle. There we go. So what? Awakening? Where's the awakening? That's not it. Enhancing arts. Hmm. Boost attacks. Support attack. Support boost attacks. Counter edge. Mystic. Mystic arts. There we go. So after after landing an art, after landing an art, okay. After landing an art, press and hold two of the following buttons to trigger your character's powerful mystic art. Okay. So presumably presumably heal is not an art that you land, I don't think. It's not I mean it's definitely an art that has an effect on a target. But it's not an art that has an effect on an enemy target. Power strike proficiency. How are we doing with power strike proficiency on... I guess it would be under arts. Power strike proficiency on Kisara. Mm -hmm. I don't... I mean, Flaming Meteor is a... It's a power strike. And the proficiency on it is nearly... Nearly 600. I don't know if that's indicative of her proficiency with all power strike, because it's certainly not indicative of her proficiency with hurricane slice. Hmm. I suppose we'll see. Yeah, Dohalim. Ward art that, that temporarily raises one ally's art gauge recovery speed for a set period. Could be useful. Catapult. Could be useful. Easier perfect? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. Master Arts Gauge. 
Mm. Easier. Yeah. If if this is a character that's going to be using oh resurrection. I don't know if I need well. I guess since that does mean that in theory we could not have Shion in the party. Not that I necessarily have anything against Shion, of course. He is a good friend to us as well. But yeah, this this in conjunction with Dohalim's pre-existing ability to heal, which I guess is just a yeah, that is just sort of the the trait that is shared among our Renan party members. Interesting that the Renans, well, I mean, you know, healing is an astral arts thing. Healing is an astral arts thing, so it would have to be a Renan thing by extension. But it is interesting how the Renan the Renan party members are the ones who who heal. When the what the Renans are doing is absolutely not healing <laughs> by any any stretch of the imagination. But yes. Not healing the world anyway, I guess. NPCs saved. I wonder how many we've saved at this point. Probably less than half of that, I think. Use your overlimit. I feel like Xion's a character who doesn't benefit from going into overlimit as much as other characters. Because, yeah, like her arts, being able to use her arts, I don't know, her arts all have sort of a longer sort of wind up than most others. So she can't just use them super aggressively like everyone else can. Or like most others can. Yeah, she can't use them as aggressively. And she has the, the ammo mechanic, which I guess only happens if you're, you know, really charging up her art. But at any rate, I don't think Overlimit is going to be something that's super important for her. Boost gauge could be nice. But Xion, yeah, Xion's boost, boost attack a special effect against flying enemies, but flying enemies really aren't that troublesome to us. So I wouldn't prioritize that. Your points restoration went full. Honestly, yeah. I want that. I want that. I want to be getting more cure points. And for Xion, that means she's getting more food, so I'm sure she's delighted about that. What do we... What do we want? Hmm... Not extension critical damage. Um down damage. Air pressure. That could be nice. Yeah. I guess no reason not to get resurrection on Dovalim, I suppose. Um Lion Heart. I don't know that I care too much about that. After edge on enemy defeat. That's just generally pretty good to be honest. I think we'll save for the rest of the time being, for the rest of them. What do we... Is there anything we can get that's particularly good? Roast chicken. Novice. Oh, have we not? Have we not cleared the solar training grounds on Alvin? Hmm. Mid-air jump. Extended. Okay, yeah. Okay, Alvin's definitely a character who could use more over limit. So that's nice. Counter-attack damage. Pretty good as well. Law. Law's got a lot of skill points to spare. He also doesn't have... Doesn't have a lot of titles yet. Did we not... Did we not clear the training grounds for Law either? No, yeah. Uh, yeah, I remember... <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, we, we had... I don't remember precisely what it was, but I remember we had a lot of... Uh, a lot of trouble with Law. A lot of trouble with Law's. Boost strike. Yeah. I mostly... Law is a character whose boost strike I use largely just for damage. Awakening battle chain bonus. Um... That could be nice, but we don't... I usually... I guess I don't hold on to awakening very often. Or no. Wait. Right. Awakening and overlimit are two different things. This whole time I've been referring to... <laughs> This whole time I've been referring to over over limit as awakening, but awakening specifically the thing that law does. Earth's gauge. I don't. Honestly, I don't. I'm not that good at perfect evading. With or without law. 
boost stage at the battle start. That's pretty nice. Rinwell. Rinwell also has a lot of titles she can get. Owls met. Items collected. Bibliophile. Alright, I know I I'm like Hold on. Hold on. So law that's not it. Law needs training grounds as well. Rinwell needs training grounds. Kisara. We just did Kisara's training grounds title, I think. Unblemished fighter. Proof of clearing novice training. Whether anyone else uh, whether anyone will ever manage to topple the Eldamanensia Guard's greatest warrior remains to be seen. I'm so sure that we got... Unless I forgot to save, or, or I loaded a previous save or something like that? Which is not impossible, it's happened before. <laughs> but I'm 100% I'm certain that I completed the, the training grounds with Rinwell, at least. Did we do it with Xion? Let's see, loose cannon and T save. Hmm. Actually, we haven't I haven't read this before. Only the truly bold and reckless would ever dare fire upon a lord they, they just met. That's exactly what Xion did in Adelina Palace. Fair enough. So yes. Sniper. That's not anything. Hmm. Yeah, none of these, none of these seem to be related to the training grounds. I'm sure that we also did training grounds with Xion, but I guess maybe Xion just doesn't care for that particular achievement. Oh no, well, no. I, I, I thought for a second there that it said training regiment, but uh, no, that says Eden regiment. Xion's policy is simple. Anything she sees or gets placed in front of her, she eats. That's enough of an eating regiment for her. Fair enough, fair enough. And so yes, we also didn't get also didn't get it on Alpin. This is well, I thought I was going to move on after this, but now I'm now I am baffled. I guess no, I I we did clear it with Xion. We did clear it with Xion. We did clear. I guess maybe maybe I just didn't. Maybe I just didn't go for it. That must be that must be what happened. I must have just not. <laughs> I must have just not bothered. Hmm. Well, anyway, I said this is what I was gonna do today, so I guess we might as well do it. All right. It might also be in my best interest if I'm going to be doing training grounds business to make sure that each character before we get into battle with them is like well equipped. Yeah, has good accessories. The armor wouldn't necessarily yeah, we couldn't necessarily get them new armor or weapons. But yeah. Getting getting them making sure that everyone has good accessories is definitely doable and probably ideal. And so I guess we'll we'll check in on that later, I suppose. Not bad, not bad. So yeah, it's been a very long time since I played as Alvin, but he does he still feels pretty familiar. Yeah, he strikes quickly and nimbly and effectively, and that's pretty nice. Pretty nice all around. Alright, so I'd like the board to be a little bit closer before I start using before I use my boost attack. And there, I used my boost attack by accident without checking whether or not the bull was nearby. Oh well. A little bit. I guess, yeah, I wouldn't have been able to dodge that anyway. Or I wouldn't have needed to dodge that anyway, but even if I even if I did need to, that was definitely way too way too early. Getting a little bit too a little bit too right trigger happy, I suppose. Alright, well. All this time I was sort of, I've been talking about how the, oh yeah, the, the timing on the guard, or on the perfect dodge, is so much more 
so much more lenient than it is on the. Yeah, so much more lenient than it is on the perfect guard that Kisara has. But I think at this point, I don't, I don't necessarily have any reason to believe that's true. Yeah, we definitely haven't seen, haven't seen that much of a of a difference. I don't think. I probably should have accounted for the possibility that there's going to be another wave and not use that right away on a single enemy. But I suppose there also might not be another wave, and, if, and that is it. If that is the case, if that is the case, then, you know, I should use it now, for the sake of speed. But I guess there's no way for me to, no way for me to know until it happens, basically. Oh, there we go. Alright, you're gonna use a, a cool move, but we're not gonna worry too much about you. No flame throw attack. I'm used to them using that pretty much exclusively. Oh dear. Thank you. I always love the flame throw attack because it's very easy to to perfect guard. Perfect dodge. Probably easier to perfect dodge as well. Hmm. I don't like this. This is a bad situation that we're in. Hmm. Probably be a little bit more careful with my health when I'm playing as the character who whose arts damage them, but you know. You know. It is what it is. Oh, oh. Ah, there we are. I was about to say, where's that where's that mm, this is I'm at one health, I don't like this. <laughs> oh, that was a bad idea. I suppose probably one health isn't all that much worse than uh, than like 50 health, which is what I think we had previously. Well, maybe it's for the best. Maybe it's for the best that I didn't do these because we are not at the recommended level. So let's be on our way, I guess. We've got quests to do. We've got a forest to explore. We'll pick up the quest before we head to the forest. I think. It might be... Let's see, where would there... Can we check that on the map? I'm pretty sure. Because, yeah, we can see... Oh, yeah, there's definitely lots of quests in the area. Uh, oh, right, that's the dragon. What do we... How are we feeling about the dragon today? Hmm. I've thought about it. I've thought about it and I'm not feeling good about the dragon today, to be honest. But I think we're going to leave the dragon be. Let's see, it's not... Was there... No. Not, for, not in any further down the street to the next street over. As I had anticipated. Hey, if we find anyone who needs help here... I know. We'll, we'll make sure to ask what's wrong. All right. <clears throat> Where could I live? Oh. This is bad. What am I going to do about that Zoogle? Mm -hmm. Something bothering you, Miguel? I heard you mention something about a Zoogle. Oh, Kisara. You see... Actually, never mind. It's nothing. It sure doesn't sound like nothing to me. Did a dangerous Zoogle appear somewhere? You need, if you need a god, I'll handle it. I couldn't ask you to do that. I'm sure you've got enough on your own plate as it is, I'm sure. I mean we did just come from the training grounds. So really more training is more training is what's on the agenda for today, I suppose. Leave the Mencia's affairs to us. I have to learn how to get by without the to depend on these days anyway. Right. But I want to make sure this realm stays safe just as much as you do. So if you're having problems, say something. I just told you we can handle it ourselves, or do you doubt our ability to look after ourselves? That's not what I... Well... It's okay, Lagil, really. We fought our fair share of Zoogles, you know? Why don't you tell us what's going on, at least? <sighs> okay, then. Hmm. A giant Zoogle shown up by Trasilda Highway, and took a big mess out of all the fields and buildings and looked along there. It's like a wild hog. Once it manages to break through... Only it manages to break any walls and fencing that gets in its way. Hmm. When you say a hog, you mean one of those boar zoogles? I figure it's stone wall would be enough to keep it at bay. That won't work on this fella. We're talking something about the size of a hut. Really? That big? Oh. 
Yes, that's why we've been struggling to come up with a better way to stop it. We'll see what we can Good. do. If we're dealing with something that bad, you should let me go after it. I've got my shield here, after all. What the? What? I don't know that's such a... Seriously? I don't know if that's going to pose a threat to Azugal the size of the hut. All right. I'll make it work somehow. I'm determined to do what I can to protect my realm. You said to Tris lead a highway, right? We'll be right back. <sighs> that's a pretty appropriate response to someone saying that they can block a Zugal the size of a hut with their shield. But you haven't seen, you have not seen the way that this woman wields the shield, so. If anyone can, and I'm sure that, I'm sure that there is someone who can. That being Kisara. But if anyone can, it would be Kisara. Yes, let's... I hear... Yeah, real quick, I'm going to switch around the party. Oops. Switch back to Dohalim. It's edit. There we go. Yeah, since Dohalim heals, we don't necessarily need to have Xion and Dohalim in the party. We don't necessarily need to have both of them. So I think... What do we want to do? I think we'll swap back in. I mean, we're definitely going to want... We're definitely going to want Kisara, because we're about to we're about to undertake a mission that involves fighting a Zoogle that's big and a boar. Um, yeah, we'll swap in Rinwell for some range damage, and we'll leave the rest as it is. Voice, somebody's asking for help. Hopefully. Oh well, more <sighs> ambient dialogue we've lost, unfortunately. Oh, you're Captain Kisar from the Guard, right? Perfect. I've got a problem I could really use your help with. You okay? What is it? I'm at your service. Well, when I was working in Resume Quarry earlier, I came across this one tough nut of a rock that I couldn't quite crack. Yeah! Tough rock, you say? If you need, if you need help smashing the thing, I'm your guy. If only the problem were so simple. Alas, by the time I got back to work the next day, it completely vanished. <clears throat> As in my surprise when I found it rolling around deeper in the quarry. It was practically a walking crag, a feisty one at that. Ever since then, I've been too scared to get back to work knowing that thing is in there. Well, okay. Let's get that let's get that settled. I think this is a quest that one of our characters specifically wanted to clear for the sake of a title. Possibly Kisara. Because yeah, I remember the dragon one. The dragon one definitely involved law. The, yeah, claiming a bounty is the dragon one. Leave it to me. I'll see what I can do. Huh? This'll be good. I can't wait to see how our specialist in defense is going to solve this one. Ha. Huh. Well, I'm not going to ignore this man after what he's told us, this defensive specialist or not. Thanks a million, Captain. You'll find it deep inside Resume Quarry. Here we go. Roger. Let's move out. Crush that Zoogle one... Let's move out. I'll crush that Zoogle one way or another. All oh, right. Yeah, this heals Kisara E. Let's see. That is that's everything from here. Trislita, yeah, Trislita Highway is right here. So I suppose we will. That's the boar. I suppose we'll pick up these quests once we leave. Once we leave for Trislita Highway, while we're still here. Not that it really matters. But we can fast travel. Probably be faster to just walk over rather than fast travel. Also, dialogue. The resume quarry is across this bridge. The Lake of Death is supposed to be inside. Part of me wants to leave flowers there. But I don't have the guts to face the masses of dead there yet. Understandable. Yes. So... The, yeah, the enemy Stay would be sharp. right in here. We're going in. No employees on, on ship today, presumably because of the giant frag monster. But I suppose we might as well do a little bit of a, a little bit of part-time work here ourselves, pick up some resources. Crystal. That's yeah, we can that is a material for making that accessory up that we have on law that I like so much. Well, if you're up for being the decoy. No thanks. Let's turn back. Let's see. 28. That's a high level. It's not 
insurmountable, I don't think. But it's definitely, it's a higher level than I might like. You should aim for the bright area on their back, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, Ilhalim, yeah, Ilhalim special art wouldn't really be super useful to us here, but... Hmm. Actually, hold on. Let me make sure that we... What's our strategy like right now? Mm, nope. Details. There we are. I don't... Yeah, we'll switch these up to at least five. I don't want to use too many of them because this isn't a boss battle. It's probably boss tier. Probably boss tier as far as battles go, but... Yeah, okay. I don't want to use the very last of our resources. Alright, Law, you do some time. Very good, very good. Yeah, it'll be definitely very interesting to see sort of the new... Yeah, the new dialogue that come out of our new party composition. Probably... Alright, whoop, there we go, not bad. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh! Okay, Alphen, Alphen is down, that's not good. Hmm. That, where's the fuck there we go? That could have gone better than that. I mean, this was probably unnecessary. <coughs> Alright, oh, Dohaline's down too, no, that's not good. I gotta say, I do not... Hmm. This is maybe a bad idea. Cannot play here. So, maybe we should have waited a little bit, actually. Because, uh, it seems like maybe we aren't quite ready for this. Dinwell! Dinwell's doing a really good job of not getting hit by this thing. Really. We... We can't switch in party members, I don't think. We can switch who we're controlling, but we can't switch party member party members. Hmm. I think we should definitely stick on Kisara, because I don't want... She's a melee character, and I don't want her to be in melee with this thing recklessly. This is probably an enemy that... Oh, there it goes Rinwell. So this is definitely... Uh, <laughs> Probably would have been better to have our, yeah, our ranged healer as opposed to our melee healer here. That's yeah, that was a nice thing. John, if you'd be so kind, we might we might be able to get something done with Kisara here. I don't know that it's going to be worth the time investment, to be honest. But we could, we could beat the boss, I suppose. I don't, I don't want to use any resurrection items. I could, but I don't want to, because I feel like, okay, we can't target anything else anymore, so yeah, that was a tweak points down. I could use resurrection items, but I don't want to, because I don't want to, I don't really want to commit to this. I guess if I really just wanted to be done with it, I could just let it hit me. But, let the marksman handle this. This one's mine. Yeah. You know, I'd like to see. I'd like to see what we can. What we can do. We're not doing awful. We're not doing great, to be honest. But what with the three defeated party members, but we're not doing awful. If nothing else, this is. Oh. Nothing else this can be considered a learning experience. Hmm. So yeah, so definitely perfect guard on Kisara does block all damage. I was sort of wondering if that was true, considering that a normal guard doesn't. Yeah. Well, I could be so kind. Do all of the carving that you please, my friend. Hmm. This is a bad place to be. Yeah, well, that was an okay place to be. We didn't suffer tremendously for it, so... Alright, so that's the fight done with. Uh, 
All right. So, that was a bad idea. <laughs> but, we got a title out of it, so. It is what it is. Anyway, let's we lose. Lost. We did lose. We did lose pretty badly. Let's go back to the, the end. Oops. We lost so far that Dohuin became Rinma. Nope, wrong button again. Getting everything out of order. There we go. So, we will deal with that in a bit. Some other day, perhaps. Some other day. That was quite the little adventure we went on. Man, you, you're telling me. Alright, rest. What do we want? The bob? That sounds interesting, but yeah, we haven't made that yet, I don't think. Let's see. Nochi. Nobody's cooked that yet. There was someone who needed to cook something specific, I think. I think it was Alfin. Let me double check. Um, let's see. Skill panel. You want to cook roast chicken. That's not... I don't think that's one of the... I don't think that's one of the options we have. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. it doesn't look like it. Oh yeah, we do have some new food. So that's attack up tea. Tiny, I guess. I think, yeah, that's what we determined. After S, um, T. I thought it said somewhere, but I guess not. Um, more drop items. That could be nice. Elemental defense. HP after battle. Hmm. What do we, what do we want? You know, let's, is there anything that Dohalim can cook? The beef stew. All right. Might as well go for that, I suppose. This flavor. Why, it rivals the cooking of my own chefs in the palace. Nice. Yeah, is this? Is this one of the recipes? One of the recipes that uh, we had. Uh, this is cooking effect by 30% once remaining. What does is, what is once remaining mean? I would assume that's X that has been cut off slightly. Uh, it's supposed to say something like once remaining time or something. You know, there's only so much once there's a given amount of time remaining. Let's see, there should be... Yes. Oh, well, actually, hold on. Can you... No. I was going to say, there should be a merchant here with whom we can do dealings with our farm, but it is uh, apparently not so. Yeah, it has to be specifically one of those, one of those backpack merchants. Yeah, that's all the... I can't go there. Oh, also, I forgot. We need to go to the, the other area in Gleon Wood. Gilan Wood. Gilan, Gilan Woodland. So, let's make that our next destination. Yes. We've reached our destination. What do we... Is this... Oh, we just, we just went back to the scent, didn't we? We sure did. I don't sense any more enemies. Hey, does. Yeah, for... I saw the, I saw the, the, the icon for this fellow on the, on the mini-map there for a second, and I thought, I thought that, that he was an enemy. And I was going to be, about to be very confused as to why we were fighting just random, Stay random sharp. soldiers around in. here. Yeah, this, this place definitely seems like, you know, Elda Menencia specifically. It's definitely not the place you would expect to be fighting Renans, if anywhere. At least, you know out of the context of the, the training grounds, because they do we do fight in the training grounds. You know, I'll keep playing as Dohalim for a little while. Hmm, I guess there was probably no game around this. Can't. Yeah, can't block the curve. Yeah, can't interrupt that. Hmm. Oh, oh. Yeah, there's a lot to a lot to be learned still. A lot to be learned still, I think. Um, all right, you know what? Let's have uh, our good friend Law cause some problems for this fella. 
and might as well. Okay, there we go. We've ensured survival by eliminating all enemies. Yes, I've got to remember that. Yeah, I am currently the person who is responsible for the healing in this party. It's been a good long time since I've played as the healer. Yeah, I never never really did get a, a good hold on Chion. Fighting style's a little bit too slow for my face, to be honest. Of course, we, I do still appreciate your effort, Chia. You know. Nice, nice. Ooh, very good. Excellent. Magnificently done, indeed. Yeah, I think that's two characters that we've seen so far who have uh, unique dialogue involving these apes. They don't? I don't know that we've seen... This is the wrong way. No, this is the right way. I don't know that we've seen a whole lot of unique dialogue for different enemy that types enemy looks before. Strong. I bet it'll be worth our while to fight. Oh, that's, yeah, that's, I think this is the first time we're seeing one of these special enemies. Got a really bad feeling about this. It'll be fine, probably. Not bad, not bad. Very good, very good. Very good, very good. Alright, um, this is not gonna work for you. I should be more careful about, yeah, what arts I'm using and when. Because, yeah. Oops. Nice, nice. Yeah, it would really be... Yeah, we've got... Let's see, we just saw the Dokalim and Kisara combo. I think we've seen every Kisara combo. Except maybe Law. I don't know if we've had Kisara and Law in the party at the same time, now that I think about it. Maybe we should do something about that. It does feel weird to not have Alfin in the party, but he can hang out with Chion. The heavens company. must be smiling. Hmm. Eh, you know what? We need more levels, so <clears throat> no real reason to avoid avoid conflict. I don't think. Yeah, to... Ooh. Oh wait, hold on. I just remembered, we need to uh, be using power strikes. We need to be using power strikes on uh, Kisara. So I should like... Maybe... I don't know. I kind of want to just... Uh... Oops. What was I saying? Yeah, that's a pretty good amount of your points that we just got back. But, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, disabling other non-Power Strike arts that Kisar has. I don't know that that's really going to benefit us that much, but I want to... Oh, no. Okay, so that's over 600. And again, we, we will probably get the overall proficiency with Power Strikes up faster if we only use power strikes. Hmm. You know what? We probably wouldn't be that much worse off. Yeah. This is fine, probably. Well then, let's keep moving. We've done, you know, well enough for long enough without Kisara as an additional source of healing, so we might as well just keep going. Keep going as things were. Very good, very good. Quick, quick work there. Ah, we could have done a cool move, unfortunately. Now we have a cool move. Ooh, that's very cool. Now that is a that is a cool, cool move. I like it. Oh, oh, nope, I was gonna. I was about to. Do. Should probably, yeah, not do that if nobody needs to be healed. Yeah, actually, hold on. How do I target heal? Hmm. It occurs to me that I completely, <laughs> I've completely forgotten how to target ally-facing effects. Hmm. 
Ooh, nice gold. But uh that's a concern, huh? A little bit more quickly, if you don't mind. We have more forests to explore. And ideally, I mean we're not gonna keep it, but I would have liked to have kept our discovery item discovery buff for a little bit longer. We won't bother too much with those enemies that we just passed. <clears throat> yeah, it is getting a little bit close to time here, or to the usual time. Is this... Hold on, is this a new area, or am I... Have I doubled back on myself without noticing it? No, oh, this is new. But yeah, anyway, like I was... Like I was saying, the, uh, we are getting a little bit close to the usual closing time, <clears throat> as it were. But yeah, I would like to... Uh, I've been giving it some thought about, uh, you know, how long we expect this, or how long I expect this, uh, this playthrough to keep going. And, you know, I don't want to rush it or anything, but I am thinking about, I want to try and get a little bit more time in, in each, each, uh, each play session, so that we can get through it a little bit more efficiently. But yeah, I don't want to be waiting too, too long, because, you know, I have other, I have, Plans based around when this this uh, playthrough ends. I want to start. You know, I've mentioned it before, but I'll mention it again. It's been a little while. But, you know, at that point, I intend to. Uh, yeah, I tend. I intend to uh, go on hiatus briefly so I can do some more sort of stream stream business. Work a little bit more on my uh, on my new model and things like that. And by work a little bit more on my new model, I mean work on my new model. Could have been worse. It could have been worse. Yeah, I think I did some math. I found some. Let's do. Equipment. Indeed. Let me take a look at it. This definitely feels like anyone, anyone who who mentions, yeah, the people who talk about the new equipment are almost never the people who can actually equip it. We should probably put a, yeah. Put that on Dohalim. Dohalim's a little bit more of an enemy defeating type anyway. Yeah, plus, you know, the yeah, cure points on enemy defeat and cure point cost down. If he's going to be the healer, then yeah, he's going to be getting, using our cure points the most. But yeah, so that seems to be our business here concluded now, basically. Hmm. First, it was very slow on that map. I wonder if that has anything to do with. Probably don't need to do this, huh? Probably just yeah, do this. Or right, map list, map list. We want to go to Prislita Highway. Oh, and Adelina Palace. Okay, okay. Can't fast travel into the library, unfortunately. But yes, there's probably a lot to be seen here in Adelina Palace. The library. I think the library was on the first floor. I was just looking at it on the map, so. Not that that helped me in any way, but. Okay, yeah, so it is on the first floor. If I had been a little bit more on the ball, I could have checked. Could have checked while I was there, but. Yeah, anyway. I think I did the map, but I don't remember exactly offhand. But, uh. At this point, I think we're still expecting. At the rate that I've been going through this game, based on the estimate of how long it will take to complete, based on the website howlongtobeat.com, yeah, I think currently at the rate that I've been going, I'm expect I'm expecting to beat this game in about another, I think, two to three months, something like that. You know what? I'm gonna pull up that. I just heard a Windows notification sound. That was weird. Anyway. <coughs> I'm gonna pull up that uh, that spreadsheet again real quick. Another example of my enduring love of spreadsheets. Yeah, I'm gonna bring up that spreadsheet again and look at the... Uh, yeah, okay. So with the hour and a half or so that we usually stream, at about two streams per week with... Uh, yeah, last count it was like 25 hours and like 40-something minutes 
something like that. Yeah, there was an estimate of yeah, two, two per week. Just double checking my math here real quick so that I do not make a fool of myself. Yeah, an estimate of about, yeah, of about 11 weeks. So that would be, yeah, 11 weeks would be about, oh yeah, that'd be about two and a half months, two and a half months. So yes. So, if we bump that up to, if we add an extra hour of that, that brings it down to just seven weeks. And of course, I could also, I could also possibly add another, another day, day per week. How would that affect it? Yeah, adding another day would, uh, would uh, have more effect than just adding another hour per day. I think if I did the math very right. Oh no, it'd be less. Never mind. Yeah. I mean, okay, I'm gonna double check. I'm sure all this math is riveting to <laughs> those of you who cannot see it and are just hearing me mumbling vagaries about about a spreadsheet that I that only I can see. That's it. <clears throat> Maybe I should have a special spreadsheet cam. <laughs> So that you can see all of the spreadsheets that I pull up information on, but maybe not in this case because this does have, you know, I like to I like to have some surprises here and there. I like to have some surprises here and there, in particular with the the games that I, you know, end up playing. I like to keep them under wraps until I start playing them. But yeah, I like to keep them under wraps. And if I had shown that spreadsheet, you would have seen the games. And that's not good. We... I guess we... Well... I don't want to spend the cure points just yet. I can just fast travel to the inn and stay there. Uh, excuse me. I know this is going to sound sudden, but uh, what's your ideal man? Pardon me? I'm sorry, but I'd really rather not answer that. <sighs> I knew it. It's Lord Dohalim, isn't it? I mean, those Halim, those Halims are a fine fellow. We can't chase after every little thing. We absolutely can, and we absolutely will, Xi'an. I'm sorry to say. Oh? My, looks like you're carrying a rare book there, young lady. Yeah! Oh, this thing? To be fair, books in general are pretty rare across Anna. Even so, I can tell it's particularly unique and special. As a librarian here, I couldn't ask you to consider donating it to me, could I? Yeah. I mean, this is... Yeah, I was gonna say this is a spell book. I don't think most people are gonna get much use out of that. Uh, I don't think I could part with this one. I need this book to fight Zoogles and stuff. Why? Goodness, I had no idea there were any such books used for combat. All the more reason I simply must get my hands on it. I mean, you could craft you one if you if you really wanted to. Lord Doha, sweetie, you must convince her to part with it somehow. What? I must. To be honest, I would rather she hold on to it as well. Hmm. But I, Tigrina, was appointed by you to serve as the as the li palace's librarian. I was to keep these precious books safe for future generations. You must do something. I simply can't do my job without having the books I need in my care. Please, Lord Doha. She is very familiar with Doha Lee. Hmm. That is very, very unusual. I don't think... I don't think anyone's been this familiar with any lord thus far. But yeah, I guess, I guess that's sort of the the sort of atmosphere that uh, Elder and Encia has fostered. This is quite the conundrum. I'm not sure what to do. Yeah. Hmm. Got it. Look, I'm not letting this book out of my sight. You can take a look at it while you're here, while we're here, if you like. If I find any new books while we're traveling, I'll bring them to you, too. Does that work for you? Great! Absolutely. I really do wish I could have your book, but I'll gladly accept that as a compromise. In return, every time you have something to show me, I'll give you something special in return. <laughs> Lord Doha, I do hope a generous budget is forthcoming. The arts must be preserved. <sighs> Unfortunately, that isn't my call to make, seeing as I no longer serve as Lord here, but you make a compelling argument. <laughs> Don't be shy about bringing me lots and lots of books now. I'll be here, eagerly awaiting them. 
Yeah, I wonder what do we what do we need to do for this quest? I feel sort of like this. I hate that woman. Oh, okay. She was a handful, wasn't she? <laughs> wow, What's that's wrong with strong words. Not strong words there. She was kind of cute. Rinwell. Of course, that's why you like her. <laughs> yeah, I've just I've just noticed. Dohalim is very tall. Is okay. Is Dohalim particularly tall, or is everyone else? Uh, or am I just? Uh, do we just happen to be other or uh, around relatively short NPCs? Rinwell. Yeah, Rinwell's Rinwell's taller than the librarian too. I guess she does have the heels. Rinwell does have heels, right? Hold on. Uh, a little bit. Not like heel heels, I guess. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Dohalim. Dohalim's a little bit taller than Alvin. Yeah, Dohalim is the is the tallest member of our party. How? How tall is Kisara relative to Alvin? This is meaningless, but <laughs> now I'm curious. They're about the same. But yeah, no, Dohalim is Dohalim is remarkably tall. I think probably he's the tallest. Well, no, I don't think he was. He's taller than uh, Zephyr. Almost certainly not. Yeah. Anyway, secrets of the stars. Hmm. I'm a little bit worried that if I if I've sold any books that would be useful for this quest. Secrets of the Stars, huh? That's an old beaten up book you have there. What is it, I wonder? I sense much warmth from it. Also an aura of sadness emanating from its pages. Tell me, where did you find such a book? Well... It's a prized heirloom that used to belong to a certain clan. You could say I inherited it. That's why I can't give it away. <sighs> I understand now. You must forgive my keenness to obtain it. I'm sure you don't have it easy as a fellow book collector yourself. Nevertheless, I sense that, the passion for, that your passion for them is genuine. <laughs> Will you bring any other books you happen to come across? I'd really love to see them. Yeah. Sh sure, no problem. Nice, nice. Yes, bibliophile indeed. No, no one's a more avid reader than Rinwell, whose passion for books rivals even those of the librarians at, Adel at Adelina Palace. Hmm, did I not? I think I must not have spent any skill points on, on Rinwell, because she has, like, a lot. Increased. <laughs> that feels a little bit on the nose, considering the one of our new... Si eh, si one of our upcoming objectives... But you know what? <laughs> I'll take all the all that I can that I can get. Everything that I can get to uh, help with the the dragon problem. Master magic charge is very much appreciated. I don't think I'll ever quite warm up to her. Fair but enough, I can I suppose. respect her passion for books. You've got a good sense for people, don't you, Dohalim? You honor me with your kind words. All right. So I think. I wonder if I need to actively have be. these, these books in my inventory, or if just having had them is enough. My word! Such a serene title as Nature's Beauty. This book is so ferocious, like a tornado. Truly breathtaking. No. It's too powerful. I I fear it's going to blow my clothes straight off. Oh wow. Law. Well, you can you can calm down. Hey. Hey, what are you getting so excited for? I am. This is the first time we've seen a character blush too. I think. Uh. All you boys are the same. Ugh. <laughs> oh, now don't get yourself down. You're too cute to be so angry. Wouldn't you agree, handsome? I'm gonna try to convince Law to steal books for her. Uh -huh. it, yeah. We're lighten up, Rinwell. Hmm. Uh. Oh? While you're out searching for your next book, I suggest you read up a little on men and see how their minds work. Alright, so that's one more down. Let's see what else we have. Oh? My word, this time Boom truly lives up to the radiant light of its title. Every page it glows more and more brightly. I wonder if these magic books 
if they have any magical effects in the hands of non-magic users, or if uh, Tigrina here just happens to be just happens to be very passionate about books and feels yeah, if this is sort of a psychosomatic effect. <laughs> <laughs> How joyous it must feel to have someone read, to have someone reading you. But I need to calm down, okay? Otherwise, I can't see what's inside you. Huh? Is it just me, or is she talking to that book? Maybe she's having some sort of hallucination. <laughs> All right, there we are. You only get from enjoying books so much. No way. I guess that's, I guess that's called having an imagination, huh? You mean she's addicted to reading? That explains it. Never trust a book learn. Hey. Rude. I want me in with that woman. <laughs> Books are so wonderful for their ability to transport people to brand new worlds. What you see when reading them is nothing to be afraid of. Trust me, darlings. Fair enough, fair enough. Great theories, Zelma. Ah, interesting. I think that's the first time we've seen an enhanced form of a uh, one of these herbs. Don't be shy about bringing me lots and lots of books now. I'll be here, eagerly awaiting them. Okay, so that is the end of our... The end of our business with the... Uh, with the Greena here for the minute. Yeah, Secrets of the Stars, Radiant Light, Nature's Beauty. Those are all... Yeah, those are all the books that we have. But I don't think that's all the ones that we've had... That we have had. Because, yeah, I think... Oh. Okay, so yeah, that's it's the same, just with or without the other pin. Okay, yeah, balanced living. Yeah, either that's not part of the quest, or we do need to have the weapon on hand for her to inspect it. Let me... That's not the right thing. Where would it be? It would be under... Play? Or no, activity records, maybe? Only before wins. It's a side quest, yeah. Um, bibliophile. Okay, taming water. Taming water. Okay, so yeah. Balanced living is not. Is presumably not, I guess. Presumably not the rarest book. Oh, so, yeah. Rarest book. Very interesting. Hmm. Let's. I guess we might as well go. Well. No, we're not going to do it right now. Because, yeah, we'll just have to walk back here. So I'll, I'll do it another day. But, uh, but yes. So, Taming Water. We'll go and pick up a copy of that. And really, we could... I guess... I don't know that you can have more than one copy of a given weapon at a time. I was going to suggest doing that and then, uh... Handing the spares off to, uh... Handing the spares off to her. If, uh, Rinwell doesn't want to part with her copies. But, you know. It is what it is. <clears throat> that was quite the little adventure we went. Oh. All right, we've ended up going, I think, directly back to where we just were. Oh, right, farm. We do. We have. Yeah, we do need to check on the farm. Cause yeah, we've gotten gotten a lot of uh, horse. Do we. Hmm. Are we going to Are we going to harvest this horse? Interesting. We've got plenty of gold, so I guess we'll do that. Um, we've not raised any horses yet, so I guess we'll raise two sets of them. Hmm. Hey, it's that ingredient. That's a fine way yeah, to refer to the, the horse. For that recipe. You always have an eye for food. All right, so. There's combat to be done, and quests to be picked up, so let's go pick up those quests. Yeah. Yeah, I was saying that I was kind of aiming to go a little bit later, later tonight. I don't know that I'm going to go super late. Because, yeah, I am a little bit tired this evening. I feel like evening. somebody's watching us. Maybe there's someone around here who needs our help. we've seen this dialogue before. Hmm... I understand your concerns, sir, but we've got our hands full with other matters. We'll try to take care of it as soon as we can, as we, 
as soon as we can get to it. We appreciate your patience. Hey! As soon as you can, I can't afford to wait. Don't you understand? Everyone's going to be in deep trouble if you don't get on this. What's wrong? What's the problem? Sounds like we're dealing with a, a serious situation here. Hmm? Huh? Say that. Farming equipment's all ruined. And if Zoogles are behind it, the pesky farmers. Using Earth Astral Energy, or whatever you call it. Making the metal on my equipment rust up. Why is this happening? And I can't, and if I can't fix rusted equipment, how am I supposed to harvest my crops now? Huh? It's just Zoogles you're dealing with. Can't the Renans here scare them off? These ones are untamed. Even the Renans are helpless to do anything about them. Damn it. If something ain't done soon, the yield of my fields is going to be worse than awful. And Antia might be doing thing well these days, but that's down to the... Hmm, this is a odd accent that I picked up from this man. Well, that's down to farmers like me who maintain our food supplies. I, guess. I can definitely understand the problem. I can definitely understand why this is a big problem. Yeah. I know what it's like to have to go without food. You do too, right, Law? <sighs> yeah. Things get pretty miserable when you go hungry. I'm sure plenty of people in this realm remember what it's like all too well. I don't want to have, have I don't want to have to see them suffer through that again. Got it. Of course, we always must lend a hand. Why don't you just let us take care of the, these oogles? We can't just stand by and let people starve. What the? You do that? You're a literal lifesaver. Just hate that regard. Armored soldiers aren't handling it like they should. Yeah. People's e ability to eat is at stake. You can't sit around waiting for people to act. Law's right. We'll fix this. You wait here while we get rid of those zoogles. Alright, alright. Then there was another... Another one not too far from here. I don't know if it's on this same Do side of this just town. just go after anything that looks remotely like farm equipment? It's me. Let's just focus well, on ensuring yeah, they don't make right matters here. any worse. By the way, why do you keep looking over yourself? Uh-huh. Hmm. Oh, no reason. Don't worry about it. That's quite the bore there. That's, yeah, that's, that's hot sized, all right. That's hot sized. Hmm? Oh, uh, Lord Dohalim? What brings you here? Hello. Oh, nothing in particular. We're simply passing through. We are quite the distance from the capital, however. Are you in need of assistance? Well, yes, I've been having Zoogle troubles. Huh. Hmm, how curious. You shouldn't be seeing any more of them out here since the soldiers clear them all out. Hmm. Soldiers have been clearing them out as well as they perhaps should be, it seems like. Uh, the little ones have kept away, yes, but this big Zoogle showed up recently that's been causing me no end of trouble. How? Oh, what would you, what would you call it? Hot sized Uh, house-sized? Alice-sized? We might need to, uh, might need to amend our priority list, depending on your answer. It looks like a giant monkey, I guess you could say. It likes to blow these huge gusts of wind that wreak havoc on my crops. That sounds like quite the serious problem. <sighs> I, I apologize for troubling you with this, my lord. I promised to fulfill the palace's order somehow, but let's see what we can do. Fret not. I shall handle the situation myself. Huh? What? You do that for me, my lord? But of course, how could I ignore a citizen standing before me who's quite clearly in, need, in dire need of my aid. Kisara. You said it was a large simian zoogle that knows how to manipulate the wind, yes? Very well. Let us be off, Kisara. Right. Right. Oh, hello. Big game player. Yes. We'll see. We'll see what level these quests expect me to be at, I think. And that'll, de that'll determine whether I decide to stick around and do some more streaming tonight. Because, yeah, if they, if I am expected to be at a higher level than I am, then probably, yeah, I just have to do some grinding. And I don't necessarily want to be doing that on stream. I can do that off stream. Focus a little bit more on the fighting and doing so efficiently. A little bit less so on talking. And just get, you know, get around to get it done a little bit quicker. Because, you know, you know, the time spent working on the game off off stream what little time i have spent on it off stream you know i'm also counting in in my estimate because you know <sighs> never a dull moment on this time journey. spent <clears throat> time spent getting stronger on stream time spent getting stronger off stream they both contribute to us getting through this game so you're very 
You're a bold soul there, aren't you? With all these dreadful zoogles about. Well, the Menin Sea is famous for its fertile land, but its waters are seeming with life too. There's all sorts of good places to catch tasty fish. There's Overseer Hill, or if you go past the Vicent, the capital, there's also Talca Pond. What's guess, that huge zoogle over yeah, there? Yeah, he's got uh, a protection Stay detail, far away I suppose. From that thing, Rinwell. That's definitely a concerning creature. The earth and masses, I think we can probably deal with pretty, that pretty is cleanly. It's gonna get attacked. I don't think I we can take it right here. now. Well, it's not too bad. It's, I mean, it's still definitely I above our fire. level. It's above our level, no, you so you know, you know, we are, yeah, we are fighting like multiple enemies here, so that's also an issue. Mm, let's let's not do that. There we go. Oh, all right. I gotta remember you know, how to do things. I do. All right. So. All right. All right. All right. Mm. Now we'll focus on taking out the apes. Okay, let's take you down. Hmm. I just realized. Yeah, that was probably unnecessary. Considering these. Creatures don't cast spells, I don't think. Alright. So probably I should do something about law here. Um, arts, heal, swap for resurrection. Yeah. Oh dear. Alright, alright. That doesn't necessarily do a whole lot for us, but you know. Oops, nope, not a lucid deity. I don't want that. What I want is resurrection. Okay, okay. And hold on, is... yeah, okay. There we go. Probably could have, you know, tried to sync that up with a... Uh, yeah, tried to... Hmm. This thing concerns me a little bit. Is Law, is Law getting knocked down again, or did he just never get back to get up? Alright, All right. so Law's up again. Isara's nearly down, so we've got to do something about that. A lot of micromanagement here. Um, heal. How do we... Hmm. It did... It, it, it healed Isara, but she wasn't the, the one with the lowest health. I don't know if that's the if that is the priority, or if that's just sort of a uh, happy coincidence there. Oh. All right, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, maybe this uh isn't one that we're quite cut out for just yet. Ooh, that's. That's a no rest for the wicked. A lot of cure points that we don't have, huh? Well, okay. <laughs> we can we can fight we can fight earth and masses at least. I'm confident of that. So maybe the maybe the big zoogles are a little bit out of our league currently, but you know, these guys we can we can deal with. I'm sure. Not bad. Of course, every time we do that, we are getting more damage on uh, Alfin. Hmm. Let's see, we need to defeat eight Earthen Mathas, I think. And there's a there's a whole bunch the over there. We were asked to handle. Yeah, we're not we're not going to concern ourselves with the boar right now. Discourteous, aren't you? But yes, I love I do love uh, I love the way that that Dohuin talks. Discourteous. Yeah, I like I like to say I like to say rude. That's my my term of choice to describe enemies. I suppose it's the same thing essentially. Yes, discourteous has just a little bit extra, a little bit of that extra extra flavor. Alright, okay. So if we can get them caught up in the tornado drive, then I think we can probably get 
good use out of that. Or at least better use out of it than we have when we haven't done that. How much longer will our healing arts last? Not too long, but we're not too desperately in need of healing. Is Especially not when we're fighting we're these relatively weak enemies. See, I guess with what I you know, just said about our priorities and all, I think probably I will yeah, defeat the Earth and Mazes. We'll go turn in that quest and then we'll just wrap things up for the day. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else we can really do. That is a very cool thing. Very good. That's the last of the Zoogles that were ruining the farm equipment. Yeah. Thank goodness. I mean, hey, <laughs> I get the feeling. But were you really that worried about us winning? Oh, we, uh, our track record for winning has not been huh? exceptional a recently. On our radar. We've done we've done a lot of not winning. Losing some Colin. We've done a lot of losing recently. So you know. Shakes the confidence somewhat. Yeah, so like I said, I think probably what I'll do at this point is I'll go and I'll do some some grinding off off stream. I'll wrap things up for here once we've got this quest turned in. To who? Oh yeah, to who? Yes, to him. Yeah, I was going. I'm about to say to whom I'm okay. not quite sure, but uh, yeah, here's the guy. What's the situation with the Zoogles? Yeah. You can rest easy. We got rid of every last Zoogle around here that was giving you trouble. You did it. Wonderful. Now I can finally repair all my damaged equipment. I've got to hurry and get everything running again so I can resume my harvesting. Can't let anybody in this realm go hungry after all that. I hope you're not forgetting about us when you say that. Yeah. Definitely not. Thank you all so much for stepping up. I'm just happy to see him and see his dining tables still be full of food. All right. Man, nothing like the risk of a food shortage to make sure we get the job done. Well. Oh, uh, yeah. Everything's okay now. Hey, Alfin, is this just me, or were you a little preoccupied with something else? What makes you say that? Ah, Chion. I noticed you kept kept looking over your stuff. Yeah. Let me try and uh, recapture my law voice there. I noticed you kept looking all over yourself for some reason. Oh, that? Well, uh, remember what that farmer said about the Zoogles making all metal rust? Ah, so it's not about Xion. I was, I was thinking that maybe he, he would be concerned about her being concerned about the food. I guess that wouldn't explain him checking himself over, unless he was perhaps concerned that Xion was planning to eat him, perhaps. Yeah? Why? I was afraid of what ha might happen to my armor and sword if we didn't do something. I guess... Right. It's all metal, huh? Ugh. Yeah. My all my equipment rusted, I wouldn't be able to fight. You'd be worried too, right? Don't tell me you weren't at most because you didn't want your stuff going to waste. I mean, this is a... We are... Alphan is currently wearing a priceless cultural artifact of the Danon people. So, it's not... You know, we can't just let this armor be be destroyed casually by some some beast out in the wilds. Really? You gotta be kidding me, Alfin. <sighs> hey, I'm just as shocked as you are. All right. So yes, there is much more battling to be done. Much more battling to be done, but now. I was going to say now is not the time to do it. It is, it is the time to do it. It's the time that I said I was going to do it, but, you know, it's just going to happen, uh, not visibly. But yeah, it's been nice. It's been nice playing some Tales of Arise here. You know, like I, I could do, I could go a little bit further, but honestly, you know, I don't, I don't care too much for grinding on stream. I'd like to do that off stream, like I said, you know, that way. I don't have to worry about being funny. I can just worry about uh, enacting violence upon my enemies as quickly and efficiently as possible. Put on some music, maybe. I guess probably what I might do instead is, uh, you know, watch a stream because we're about to do a raid. <laughs> we're about to do the customary end of stream raid. So, yes, as per usual, if anyone has any raid suggestions, I would be glad to hear them. Please feel free to suggest anyone and everyone. Maybe not everyone, because I don't think we can raid everyone. 
At least not in one night, but, you know. Yeah, we need to do a lot of streams to raid everyone. But yes. So, let's see. Where, where was I? Oh, right, schedule. So, before we do any of that, we're going to get into the schedule. I'm going to take a sip real quick. That's it. But yes. Schedule, right. I get hot into it and I immediately distracted myself. So, tonight has been Tales of Arise. Tomorrow could also maybe be Tales of Arise. Maybe, maybe not. We're not sure just yet. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, next week we should be back to the usual. I'd love to check my schedule, but I keep my schedule on my phone and I'm using my phone as a camera right now, so I would not, <laughs> I cannot do that. But anyway, so next week, I don't anticipate anything happening that will change our schedule in any way. So we should be back to the usual. Getting over it with Bennett Body on Tuesday. Tales will rise on Wednesday and Friday. And then on Thursday, some more uh, Cyber uh, v Valhalla, VA, -A, yeah, <laughs> VA 11 Hall A Cyberpunk bartending action with our good friend, longtime collaborator, uh, Sheppy Chefs. Yeah, so that should be everything that needs to be gone over at this point. So I don't see any suggestions. Let me just pick something myself. Someone, perhaps even. Ah, Svella's playing some Hollow Knight, actually. That, sound, that sounds like something I'd like to drop in for. Yeah, so. I think tonight we will go and raid Spell of Cressera. Valkyrie VTuber, another friend of the, the channel. I've seen her quite a few times, or raided her quite a few times. Yeah, never been on the channel though, I suppose. But, uh, but yeah, Valkyrie VTuber, like I said, playing Hollow Knight right now. Hmm. The internet on my laptop is being very slow right now. But, uh, yeah. Alright, so add. I probably should have made my choice before I went into the <laughs> went into the yeah, before I went into the talk about my schedule so that I can you know, add the opportunity. Okay, the ad immediately ended. I guess it failed to load there. That's one benefit of having weird internet today. Hopefully that hasn't affected the stream too much, but you know, at least it won't affect the VOD, I suppose. Yeah, just beat a boss there, it looks like. Svetla did. Yeah, anyway, so, customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. And so yeah, once again, I'm going to try to put a, another hour into, another hour or so into each of these uh, Tales of Arise streams going forward. Again, I guess I don't necessarily need to do that hour on stream, but, you know, like I said, I want to get this done a little bit more, a little bit sooner, rather than later. But I can go and work on other things. And I'll see about making some time on, you know, just in my day-to-day -day as well to work on things. But, you know, it'll be it'll be nice to have extra time. But yeah, so anyway, all of that being said, you know, we'll talk more about this later once I get more, a better idea of what exactly I want to do. So, all of this has been done. So, <laughs> anyway. Thank you all for being here tonight. I hope you've had a fine night. I hope that you'll continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you'll be well the until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much, and farewell. Let us get this raid underway. <laughs>